It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll look at Bollinger Band Percentage B, the second of two indicators that can be derived from John Bollinger's Bollinger Bands. Without further ado, let's begin. When looking at Bollinger Bands, there are two things most charters consider. One, how wide or narrow are the bands? And two, where's the stock's current price in relation to the bands? Last week, we looked at Bollinger Band Width, an indicator that specifies exactly how wide or narrow the bands are. This week, it's Bollinger Band Percentage B, which quantifies exactly where price is in relation to the bands. The calculation for Bollinger Band Percentage B is price minus lower band divided by upper band minus lower band. This produces a result that falls into one of six categories. Percentage B equals 1 when price is at the upper band. Percentage B equals 0 when price is right at the lower band. Percentage B is greater than 1 when price is above the upper band. Percentage B is less than zero, i.e. negative, when the price is below the lower band. Percentage B is greater than 0.5 when the price is above the middle band, which of course is the 20-day simple moving average. And percentage B is less than 0.5 when the price is below the 20-day SMA. Bollinger Band Percentage B can be used to identify when stocks are overbought or oversold. This works best with stocks that are in fairly clear medium-term trends, for stocks in uptrends that are temporarily oversold on a pullback, or stocks in downtrends that are temporarily overbought on a rebound. In other words, Bollinger Band Percentage B does not really predict long-term reversals, but can spot situations in which a stock's trend is likely to continue following a momentary abnormality. Within these parameters, a high percentage B indicates a stock that is overbought, while a low percentage B indicates a stock that is oversold. Here is an example of a stock chart with a Bollinger Bands overlay and Bollinger Band Percentage B included on the bottom of the chart. Notice in the first instance in which Percentage B exceeded 1, indicating that it might be overbought, the stock continued higher. This was to be expected since Percentage B only indicates overbought when the stock is otherwise in a downtrend. Later, when percentage B dipped below 0.5, a significant level, it indicated the stock was moderately oversold amid an otherwise bullish trend, and, as expected, the stock shot higher. In addition to the previously discussed significant levels, greater than 1, less than 0, and above or below 0.5, there are two other levels that charters are concerned with. Levels of greater than 0.8 can indicate overbought status, while levels of less than 0.2 can indicate oversold. You can easily add Bollinger Band Percentage B to your charts on StockCharts.com. Simply select Percentage B from the Indicators drop-down menu. We recommend using the default parameters 20,2 as these correlate to the standards for Bollinger Bands. We also recommend putting Percentage B below your chart for easy reading. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus' First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit FirstHourTrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.